gauge for us, if you could, the, th the level and the trajectory of the Islamic State terrorism threat here as you see it. Um, obviously, what we saw in Paris uh, raises a whole new set of concerns, not just for people in Europe, but for people in the U.S. Yes. What's your own view of the trajectory of that threat? Well, uh, obviously, we've been concerned about it since it started last summer because they say they have the aspiration to come here. Uh, their capability is not what it is in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there isn't that, uh, that much is eased geographically in movement of people. Uh, we don't have some of the population that has long-standing terrorist inclinations uh, that are in some of the European uh, uh, countries. So the most immediate danger we face is more of the lone wolf kind. Now, I'll give you an example. I was down in Chattanooga two months ago. Many of you all remember that incident. That was a very serious matter for me because there were six of our service members who were killed. Now, who did that? Well, it, it, this is a kid who was born in Chattanooga, mm -hmm. grew up there. His parents were engineers, and he went on, you know, one of these sort of losers, lost mm -hmm. kids, went on the internet, got all frizzed up, and then went at, uh, bought a firearm, mm -hmm. went out and, 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 and killed people. Now, you know, we can't have that. So we can't have, so that some of that is just protecting our people and the kind of pr protection you do against aberrant people all the time anyway. But here you have a particular cause, uh, and we need to show that that's not a successful cause and that civilized people are determined to defeat it. And at the same time, while, you know, while I'm at it, I've been talking a lot about what we do in Syria and Iraq, but since this is a time when people are really focused as they need to be on defeating ISIL, I said it has to be a multi-pronged thing. We have to take care of it in its heart there, but we also have to do the, yes, surveillance and intelligence work that I know has been controversial, uh, but you know we're, we're trying to protect our country and protect our people, and we need to be reasonable about that. And the use of uh, social media by these guys, the use of encryption by these, we need to find a way that is consistent with a free and open internet, but which is also allows us as public officials to protect our people. We need to stop these, uh, we need to watch our borders, uh, the foreign fighter flow. We have to pay attention to the financing that these guys uh, are getting. We need to get others around the world to join in, because you know, these guys, there they're are guys in Southeast Asia. I was in Southeast Asia a couple of weeks ago, and not many, but they're little nests of these characters. Uh, in Southeast Asia, so the metastasis of this uh, has to be taken care of, as well as the parent tumor, which is in Syria uh, and Iraq. We've got to do all of that. 